Hey good people and welcome back to my channel. Today's video will cover how I would have rewritten Game of Thrones Season 8 Episode 2. But before I get started, if you want to subscribe to my channel, then feel free to hit that subscribe button. The support will make me feel very warm inside. So let's jump into Episode 2. Cue the opening credits. So we start off in Winterfell. The raven that Tormund and Beric sent from Eastwatch arrives at Winterfell. Bran receives the message and he walks into a flock of ravens and sends the birds further north. Bran eventually sees the army of the dead which is around 150,000 members attacking the last hearth. Bran also sees the Night King's army splitting up. One third of the army is heading west of the last hearth to destroy all in its path. Another third of the army is going east of the last hearth and one third is going south of the last hearth. During the next war council, Bran shares his findings with the rest of the group. The group then begins to debate the best strategy for defeating the Night King. Bran shares that the Night King wants him dead, but the Night King will keep killing until all are dead. The group discusses that the Night King's army may try to attack the Carhold, Deepwood Moat, Hornwood, and the Dreadford before ultimately attacking Winterfell. Jon shares that the Night King's army will likely grow even larger because he has the ability to raise the dead to join his ranks. Tyrion asks Jon if by raising the dead, would that also mean that the Night King could have people buried underground join his army? Jon replies that he doesn't know, but he wouldn't be surprised. Tyrion knows that the crypts of Winterfell are filled with dead people, and he has two suggestions. First, booby trapping the crypts of Winterfell with dragonglass in case the Night King wants to raise the deceased. And second, that the women and children at Winterfell, as well as other parts of the north, may be much safer if they relocated down south. The group debates on whether the civilians will be safe at the Eyrie under Lord Robin's protection, but Danny takes charge and suggests that the civilians should be taken to Dragonstone. Danny further suggests that, as the rightful queen of the Seven Kingdoms, she feels obligated to take the lead on the matter. This statement catches the attention of Varys and several others in the meeting. John and Danny order the mass evacuation of all living civilians in the north that wish to seek refuge. As the meeting is adjourned, Tyrion and Sansa stay back to strategize how they plan to evacuate as many people as possible. During this time, Sansa and Tyrion talk about how life was in King's Landing and what they've been up to since then. Sansa questions Tyrion about the Lannister forces that Cersei promised, and Tyrion replies that he believes that his sister will keep her word. Sansa then tells Tyrion that she used to think he was the cleverest person in Westeros, much like in the original season 8. Sansa and Tyrion leave the meeting agreeing that the civilians should be escorted to White Harbor by the Knights of the Vale, in which ships would take them to Dragonstone. Ravens are sent to the western parts of the north, asking the lords to have everyone come to Winterfell for war. After the meeting, Jon and Arya have their reunion. They catch up on old times, and Arya asks if she could join the war council for the next meeting. Jon jokingly asks if Arya has had any experience with war or even killing somebody. Arya then tells Jon that she's killed Walder Frey, Sir Marin Trant, and Littlefinger, amongst other people. Jon initially laughs because he thinks Arya's joking, but Arya appears completely serious, which shocks Jon. Jon ultimately agrees to let Arya come to the next war council. In the Riverlands, Jaime is shown arriving in the area, with Bronn not far behind. Bronn tells Jaime that Cersei has ordered him to bring Jaime back one way or the other. Jamie promises Bronn Highgarden and more riches than he could ever dream of if Bronn helps him with the war efforts up north. Bronn agrees to the bribe. Jamie and Bronn arrive at Riverrun where Edmure Tully and the Tully forces have recaptured after the death of Walter Frey and his sons. After some serious convincing, Edmure agrees to help out the northern cause for the sake of the Starks. A montage is shown with Jamie and Bronn going across the Riverlands and rallying the remaining Lannister and Frey forces. The combined forces make up about 5,000 men. As the forces stock up on supplies, they begin their journey to Winterfell. Back in King's Landing, Kyburn informs Cersei that he has information he received from the spy network. The army of the dead has crossed over the wall and completely decimated the last hearth. Kyburn also shares that Danny is sending civilians from the north to Dragonstone so they will be safe. Cersei meets with Euron and orders him to take the Iron Fleet to Dragonstone and wait for the arrival of the civilians. Cersei's plan is for Euron to kidnap the civilians and use them as leverage if the North were to defeat the Army of the Dead, 
or use them as sacrificial lambs to be slaughtered if the army of the dead ever reaches King's Landing. Euron agrees to Cersei's orders upon the promise that he can get married to her finally. And Cersei gives her word that she will marry Euron when the task is complete. Euron boards his ship and goes below deck to see Yara. Yara, who is still alive, begs Euron to kill her, but Euron promises that once he catches Theon, she and Theon could both die together. As the Iron Fleet sails away, we see Theon and his followers on the ship disguised as part of the Iron Fleet. Back at the last hearth, there's a scene showing the Night King getting off of his dragon and walking on the ground. The Night King is shown raising his hands in the air, and the people that were just killed, as well as anybody buried under the ground, begin coming back to life to join his army. Well folks, this concludes my rewrite for Game of Thrones Season 8 Episode 2. I'm very interested to hear your thoughts on the rewrite. Please post your feedback in the comments section and I'll be sure to check it out. Don't forget that I'll be posting new videos on this series every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. So until next time, stay tuned and stay safe. Peace.